This week, we'll look at Zones and how it can save you time in the studio. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well today I want to talk to you about groups and why you want to use them and how they are just awesome and can really save you a lot of time. Now groups are used when you're using off-camera flash, either speed lights like a Canon or a Nikon speed light or if you're in the studio using studio strobes like we are here today. Now you see groups or zones show up in all kinds of devices and so these will show up on a uh, Nikon speed light in remote or master mode. They'll show up on a Canon speed light in uh, master or slave mode. You'll see these on the Pocket Wizard Plus 3. There's the ABCD zone on a Multimax. It's there. If you look on a Flex, a Pocket Wizard Flex, you see there's three zones, A, B, and C. Today we're actually using an Air Remote, a Profoto Air Remote, and it has a lot of zones. It goes from A all the way to F, which gives you a lot of possibilities. So zones are used to turn groups of lights on and off. And when you use zones, you can do some really amazing things that will really save you time, and that's really the point, being able to turn things on and off from your camera to save you time. Now, to help illustrate this, we actually set up sort of a complicated setup that's behind me, and we brought in a model. Her name is Carissa. She's going to come out right now and help us out with this. Now, what we're going to do is have Carissa take a seat right there on that stool, and what we'll do is I want to first walk through this lighting setup that we're using. Now, I've layered this. I have some key lights right here in the front, a beauty dish. I've got a, a softbox for Phil. I have some kicker lights, and I have different background lights, and using different different combinations of lights, I can get all kinds of different looks, and Carissa doesn't have to really move. She can just stay right there, and I can turn things on and off, and we can really change up how that shot works. And the beauty of this is, if you have a studio, and you're bringing in models or subjects or clients, and they want several different types of shots, and you really want to save time, well, you can do this. You can set up your studio in a sort of pre, uh, preset like this and then set your camera, and then just start turning lights on and off. Everything is preset, metered, ready to go, and you can get four or five or maybe even six different looks without having to do anything but turning zones on and off. Now, to really understand this, first let's take a walk through so we can show you this layered setup. So let's start with our key light. I'm using a beauty dish right here, and that is going to be the key light in all of our photos. So this is going to always be on. This beauty dish is just lighting the front of Carissa's face, but we also have a, this really low um, small softbox here as a fill, and that's going to just fill in the chin underneath Carissa. Now let's talk about the rest of this stuff. So Carissa's going to step aside here for a second, and let's talk about the layers that we have inside of my lighting setup here. The, uh, one of the things I really love are these two lights right here, and they are actually shooting into the, these V-flats. These are made from foam core panels, and they're reflecting, and they're coming to the side of Carissa's head, and so that's really gonna give you some nice highlights on the cheeks. Now, also, we have some stuff in the back, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run around, and Matt's gonna go through so we can actually see this. Now, these lights are giving us options for different types of background light. We actually have a light right here, and this one has a five-degree grid on it, and what that'll allow us to do is give us a nice vignette back here, a hot spot with darker areas. It'll be right behind our model's head. But what if we want this entire white background to be illuminated? Well, we can do that with this softbox that's right down here. That's just throwing light up. And we've put it far enough back so that it doesn't uh, show all of the different texture on this background. And so we have two different options for light on the background, or we can just turn these both off, and this will fall to gray. Well, if we turn around, Carissa is back in her normal spot. You can really get a good understanding of how this light is falling on her. We have this light right here. It's coming right down as our key light. And then again, we have this light right here as our fill light. Well, now that we've seen the walkthrough, let's talk about a couple other things just to clarify. One of the things that's really going to help us out is flexible wardrobe. So Carissa actually has a really nice blouse on, and underneath that blouse, she has a 
uh, tank top, and that will allow us to shoot pictures both with a nice blouse for headshots and things that are really um, more professional. And for classic beauty shots, if we want to show a collarbone, maybe some shoulders, well, she can uh, remove that when she has a tank top underneath. That will work just great. And so we are going to save some time with the wardrobe. Now, the other thing is with the walkthrough, you can sort of see how these lights are set up, but it would be better if we could take our camera and fly it above on a crane so you can see really specifically how things are working. Well, we don't have a crane. We can't do that. So what I'd like to do is show you a lighting diagram and show you each of these lights one by one so you really know what's happening. So let's start by looking at the overall setup and you can see that we have a beauty dish on zone A and this is what that beauty dish looks like with just that light on. We have our fill light which is a small soft box and this is what that small soft box looks like. We have two kicker lights that are uh, being fired into V-flats, white V-flats made out of foam core, and those just highlight the cheekbones on Carissa. And then we have two choices for our background light. We have a softbox on the ground on zone D, and you can see that that just makes that white background all white. But if I want something that's not as bright, we have a five degree grid on zone E. We can turn that on to sort of give us a highlight around our subject. So that's how our light is set up. And now that we know how everything is uh, set up, you can see uh, the different effects of each light. Let's talk about combining those different lights to get different looks. And the best way to do that is for me to just shoot and then show you the results. So are you ready to go? All right, I'm ready to go. Let's start shooting. Well, there you have it. You can use zones or groups. They're basically the same thing to change how your lights look with one single lighting setup like we just did. In fact, we actually got six different looks from our shoot here. So we got some really classic beauty shots and we got a headshot that will look great in a portfolio or in a business situation all just using the same setup and it, that's really awesome. Now you don't have to have six different lights like we did. You can do this with uh, two or three lights and it could be much simpler. And remember you can do this with a speed light or with a studio strobe and all different brands of products have zones. And so Canon and Nikon have this, Sony has this, Profoto Air has this and Pocket Wizard Mini and Flexes and Plus 3s and Plus 2s and Multimaxes all have this. And so all different brands enjoy the same flexibility and functionality. So if you have any of those, try it out yourself and we'd love to see what you've got. Well, remember that we make videos all the time right here on Adorama TV. They're updated daily. So make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single episode. Well, thanks for joining me and I'll see you again next time. Hi everybody, welcome to Exploring Photography, Exploring Photography. I'm Mark Wallace, Exploring Photography, Exploring Photography. Well today I want to talk to you about groups. Now groups are used when you're off camera flash. Now zones are used when you're off camera flash. Now you see, now you see, now you see, now you see. Now groups are used when you're off camera flash. Well there you have it, you can use zones or groups, they're basically the same thing. And I'll see you again next time. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. 
Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.